With more and more families looking to large SUVs to meet their needs, Ford has added a few more trims. I'm Chris from Auto Academics, and today we're going to take a look at a 2022 Ford Expedition Limited 4x4 Stealth Edition. Decked out in black is this blue tinted clear coat 2022 Ford Expedition Limited 4x4 Stealth Edition. Standard features include LED daytime running lamps, LED reflector headlamps, as well as LED fog lamps and tail lamps, front tow hooks, power folding outside mirrors, easy fuel capless filler, active grille shutters, class 4 trailer tow prep package, acoustic laminate windshield, and hands-free power liftgate. Inside, there's a heated leather wrapped steering wheel, power 10-way driver leather trim seat, power 8-way front passenger leather trim seat, tri-zone climate control, One hundred ten volt, one hundred fifty watt AC power outlet, heated and ventilated front seats, twenty two speaker B and O audio system, power adjustable pedals, twelve volt power points, heated second row captain's chairs, power folding third row seats, ambient lighting. Memory settings for driver's seats, outside mirrors, steering column, and pedals. Smart USB charge ports. Hill descent control. Active noise control. Connected navigation with three-year trial. Ford Pass Connect 4G Wi-Fi hotspot. Over-the-air updates. HD radio. Intelligent four-wheel drive system. Remote start system. Carpeted floor mats, wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, Sirius XM with 360L, terrain management system, wireless charging pad, and four-door intelligent access with push-button start. Safety and security features include dual stage front, safety canopy, and side impact airbags, rear occupant alert, secure code keyless keypad, as well as a bunch of other active safety technology, including adaptive cruise with lane centering and speed sign recognition, auto hold, speed limit assist, lane keeping system, pre-collision assist with automatic emergency braking and evasive steering assist, bliss blind spot information system, reverse brake assist, driver attention alert, and rear cross traffic alert. Now hang in there because there's still more. Equipment Group 304A adds the panoramic Vista roof and the Stealth Edition performance package that consists of gloss black grille, mirror caps, roof rails, running boards, tailgate applique, rear bumper skid plate, fog lamp bezels, plus headlamp and tail lamp housing. There are 22-inch black aluminum wheels with red brake calipers peeking from behind, as well as black badging. Other options include the heavy-duty trailer tow package that includes a heavy-duty radiator and trailer brake controller. There's the continuously controlled damping system with sport tuning, control track with 373 rear differential, and 15.5-inch LCD touchscreen with SYNC 4A. Total MSRP is exactly $83,000. If you're more city than farm, this Stealth Edition Performance Package might be up your alley with its large wheels, sporty suspension, and cool blackout treatments. This trim still has 9.8 inches of ground clearance, so you can go as far off-road as the wheels and tires will take you. Oh yeah, Ford figured out how to make this twin-turbo V6 sound good at idle now, too. While less than a Tahoe or Yukon, you'll still find plenty of space with 20.9 cubic feet behind the third row. Power fold those seats down and you get 63.6 .6 cubic feet behind the second. Stow the remaining two, you get a total of 104.6 cubic feet in all. There's some storage beneath the floor and a full size spare underneath.
One thing that isn't less than the GM trucks we tested is power from this Ford's 3.5 liter EcoBoost V6 engine with stop start. It makes 440 horsepower and 510 pound-feet of torque. A 10-speed automatic transmission handles the gears and sends power to all four wheels. The two-speed transfer case is operated via the press of a button and two-wheel drive, four auto, four high, and four low can be selected. A drive mode selector allows you to customize things and it has a max tow rating of 9,300 pounds. EPA estimated fuel economy is rated at 16 miles per gallon city, 22 miles per gallon highway, and 18 miles per gallon combined. Auto Academics saw 18.5 miles per gallon during testing on regular fuel. Ever since Ford went to an independent rear suspension setup for this expedition, third row comfort has been impressive. No more sitting on the floor with your knees in your chest. <laughs> and if that weren't enough, these seats power recline for a little fine tuning. Throw in cup holders, AC vents, and some power outlets, and you've got a rather legitimate seating area. That was nice, but things do get better up here with individual captain's chairs. They too recline as well as slide <laughs> and are heated. And check out that humongous sunroof. It takes up a third of the ceiling, yet Ford managed to put AC vents and presence speakers up there too. And if that weren't enough, there's still a third zone for climate as well as USB charge ports and a 110 outlet. In case you were unaware, things do get slightly better up here. While these seats have a bit more back cushion than I prefer, they're still comfortable nonetheless with soft leather coverings. The red accented stitching is nice and so are these displays. The center one is 15.5 inches and uses SYNC 4A to run everything. It's smooth, quick, and does all that you need. The B&O sound system is nice too. Base could be a bit tighter, but overall, I like it. So now that we've addressed all of that, it's time to take it out and see how it drives. You know, I love a V8, but Ford has done some wonders with this EcoBoost V6. 440 horsepower and 510 pound-feet of torque? Are you kidding me? That's a lot. The start-stop system is a bit slow to turn back on, but the transmission is smooth, quickly climbing to the highest gear for best efficiency. The steering has a good mix of heft and comfort, and while I don't notice any additional sportiness in the suspension, it seems to handle this truck's weight just fine. Like other Ford trucks I've recently reviewed, the brakes feel great. And the cabin is quiet with only the slightest road noise coming from the back. This is probably due to the acoustic laminate windshield working so well up front. Of course, you can see all around you and overall, this expedition would be a good option for those of you who want a large, tough SUV. So there you have it guys, the 2022 Ford Expedition Limited 4x4 Stealth Edition. With so many options, the large SUV segment can get a bit confusing. But this stealth performance trim has plenty of style to look good downtown without sacrificing the performance necessary to get your boat in the water. As always, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and let us know if you prefer this style or something a little more off-road focused in the comment section below. Finally, if you haven't done so already, by all means subscribe and hit that bell icon 
so you don't miss what we have coming up next. I'm Chris from Auto Academics. Thanks for watching.